Hello and welcome back to the channel. It's great to be back. I've uh, been away for a little while with COVID-19 and it's hit me pretty hard. Uh, and uh, I do thank you very much for your patience whilst I've been away and not producing my regular level of content. Bear with me, I'm not at full um, capacity yet in terms of uh, my concentration. It's hit my concentration pretty bad, actually, COVID. I find myself starting sentences and not knowing how to complete them sometimes, so I'm a little slower than my usual self, it's fair to say, but I wanted to put a video out uh, because I've been chomping at the bit to do so. I've really missed it. And here we go. So let's go through the usual checklist. You can become a member of the channel uh, if you want to support me to grow the channel and reach that wider audience, reach more people, help more people with the Microsoft 365 journey. In my absence in these last couple of weeks, the channel's continued to grow and I thank you for that. Uh, with me doing nothing, I've gained more subscribers and more views and likes and, and all that good stuff, so thank you. Please do hit that subscribe button. That also helps me so much. If you do nothing else, please hit that subscribe button and that helps me to grow as well. And give me a like, a thumbs up if you enjoy my content. That helps spread the video around that YouTube algorithm to reach, again, that wider audience. So with that done, um, what are we going to talk about in this video? Something that's been recently um, relevant in my work life, actually. I've been dealing with a customer who had the uh, need uh, requirement to deploy uh, Microsoft Entra ID temporary access pass as a form of um, emergency authentication specifically. So we're going to take a look in this video at what it is, when you use it, what its use cases are, how you set it up, how the users access it. So without any further ado, let's dive in and take a look at Temporary Access Pass in Entra ID. So let's talk about Temporary Access Pass then. So where do we find it? We need to be in the Entra Admin Center at entra.microsoft.com. We need to open the protection section. That is a nice little rhyme. And we need to go to authentication methods to make sure first that we have this set up. As you can see in my tenant here, I have various authentication methods set up. I've got 502 security key. I've got the Microsoft Authenticator. Uh, and I have temporary access pass, and I have this activated already, enabled, and I have it targeted to a group. Let's go in and take a look at what that looks like. And when you first go in, you'll find this disabled, and you just have to toggle it on like, like so, uh, and then you can choose who you want to include or exclude in the temporary access pass settings. And you get a nice description of what this is and what it's going to do at the top here. Temporary access pass or tap is a time limited or limited use passcode that can be used by users for bootstrapping new accounts, account recovery, or when other auth methods are unavailable. Typically, uh, and in most recent experience with myself, with a customer, this has been configured as a means of account recovery. And I think that's one of the most typical uses of temporary access pass. It's issuable only by administrators and is seen by the system as a strong authentication. It is not suitable, this is important to point out, for self-service password reset. So, I've targeted this uh, at a particular group, a security group, and I've uh, uh, created a group called TAP. I've added one user to that group, a user called Stella Gibson. Let's have a look at how temporary access pass can be configured in the broadest sense. We can edit these settings in terms of minimum, maximum lifetime, default lifetime, one time settings, and the length of the passcode. So here um, we can uh, choose um, what we want to set for these settings, minimum lifetime in minutes, hours, or days. So here we have the minimum lifetime is one hour, the maximum lifetime is eight hours. Think very carefully how long you want a temporary access pass to be uh, active for. Um, think about your level of risk, your appetite for risk in your organization. So you might want to take that down a little bit for the maximum lifetime. And what is the default lifetime as well? The character length is set to eight. And what we can do here is we can require a one-time use. We can set that to yes or no, which means that that temporary access pass can be used only one time. So we can toggle that on the yes uh, if needed. So there we go. Right. Excellent, we can update that setting and we can save, nice and simple. 
Okay, let's see what that looks like in a user scenario. So I've got a user that I'm going to uh, log in as called Stella Gibson. So if we just go to portal.office.com and try and log in as Stella. Stella does have multi-factor authentication set up with number matching. So Stella.Gibson at Peter Rising m365.com what have i done wrong i've got one too many r's in there there we go correct that let's put in the password okay we're going to be challenged for number matching here but let's imagine stella has lost her means of authentication she cannot uh, use her phone for the Authenticator app. Her phone has been lost or stolen. This is the scenario. So what what can we do to get Stella back in? She needs to get back in urgently. So she contacts the support desk for assistance. What they can do is they can issue Stella with a temporary access pass. Let's see how we do that. So what the admin now needs to do is from Microsoft Entra, needs to go into Stella's actual user account. So let's go into users. We'll do a search for Stella. And there she is. Click on to Stella's user account. And we are going to look at authentication methods. So we can see we've got some authentication methods available. We've got phone number, we've got email, we've got the Microsoft Authenticator with uh, number matching. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add an authentication method and we are going to choose temporary access pass. Okay, there we go. So um, it's that simple. We click on add and we are going to get, and this is important, you need to copy these details because once you click okay, you'll not be able to get back to these details. So you need this pass and you need uh, this, um, this link to provide them to uh, to log in to uh, access the temporary access pass details. Although I have found that if you go to portal.office.com, it, it, it may prompt for the temporary access pass as well, but take a note of these details. So I'll copy that access pass to my clipboard. And now we can issue that to Stella and Stella can go to aka.ms forward slash my security info. So let's go back to my private browser here and I'm going to go to HTTPS uh, on, um, boom, 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 aka dot ms forward slash my security info. Here we go. Stella dot Gibson at Peter Rising M365 dot com enter and here we go. We don't even get as far as entering the password. We are prompted to enter the temporary access pass. So we can paste that into here. Um, we can click to show that if we want. So there we go. We, that's exactly what I copied. We can now sign in and we can stay signed in if we want to. Now this is the important part. What Stella now needs to do now that she is in, is she needs to go ahead and sort out her sign-in methods. She needs to change these to perhaps a new device that she's been issued with and make sure that she can sign in properly. Um, and then once she's done that, she can, uh, she can, log in in the normal way with her MFA challenge and job is a good one, as we say. Amazing. That's it, everyone. Thank you so much indeed. It's great to be back. I'm going to try and pick up the usual pace from here on in. For my members, my dear members, I thank you so much for being part of the channel. There will be a members-only video coming very, very soon for you. I have a specific topic in mind that was um, suggested to me by, by one of the members. 
so watch out for that very soon in the coming days. Uh, and let me know what you thought of this video. Have you used temporary access pass? What has been your experience with it and other authentication methods within uh, Microsoft Entra ID? Let's leave it there. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please do like, share and subscribe. Consider joining the channel if you want to support me. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.